Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be another first impressions video. In today's first impressions video, we're going to be taking a look at the T-Rex Arms Orion Battle Belt. Now, I won't be going too in-depth on each one of these pieces just because I am planning on doing a full review of each individual piece in a later video and just a short review here. You guys have already seen the T-Rex Arms Ragnarok setup. I will put a card up in the right-hand corner of the video now. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. This is an awesome holster setup that goes very, very well with the T-Rex Arms Orion. Moving back from the T-Rex Arms Ragnarok, I do have a high-speed gear pistol taco pouch that is the one that's connected to Molly. Now, in this pouch, it's kind of a little bit more of a modular piece. It is set up for a double-stack pistol mag. It can fit a ton of different options. Here, I am rocking a Streamlight Protac HL handheld flashlight, and it fits perfectly. Now, with the HL, it does have a slightly larger bulb on the bottom and a slimmer body design up front. You can see I have somewhat of a larger beefed out portion down below and up top it's a little bit thinner and unfortunately this causes a little bit of a tough draw pulling the light out but it's really not that big of a deal at all because this would not be a pouch that I consider something that would need to be fastly drawn out. Now in this particular setup the retention is great and I have no issues. Moving back, I actually just recently tonight picked up in the mail before I started this video my North American Rescue MFAC. And this is going to be the MFAC that's set up for law enforcement. In reality, it's just a basic kit. It does come with a tourniquet, a twin pack of high vent chest seals, medical gloves, a compression bandage, S-rolled gauze, and that's going to be about it along with obviously the packaging that it comes in. This is a really nice kit for the money and I think this is a great kit for just your standard trauma medical gear that would go really well on a war belt like this. Moving back behind the medical, we now have our T-Rex Arms dump pouch. Now this dump pouch currently is rolled up into this really nice compact package but just by undoing the velcro here we can roll out the entire pouch and we have a really nice pouch that's going to be set up and you can also fold in this velcro strap on the inside and you have the little tiny piece up here at the top to make sure nothing falls out I immediately started getting used with this at the range, putting my cell phone in it. I believe I put some pistol mags in it. I used a Sharpie, really typical to what you see a lot of guys using this for. It's really more of an admin pouch where you're putting things in. You guys have probably heard this actually on the T-Rex website. And this obviously just Velcros right over your T-Rex arms Orion, but can fit a lot of other belt options as well. To the side of the dump pouch, I have an S-Tac Kiwi 5.56 single rifle mag holder. And this this is the one with the naked outside. There's no additional pulse webbing or anything like that on the outside. It is just flat, which I think is just fine. The one thing I will say about this rifle mag holster so far is the retention is very, very tight from what you would generally think it should be on a mag carrier like this. Now, what I will say is that in using these STAC Kiwis and practicing draws at the house, they've actually started to loosen up more and more the more that I draw from them. So I'm gonna try this out, continue to draw from it and see if it loosens. You also can use a blow dryer, not really recommended, but this is just a Kydex sleeve in the middle. So you can use a blow dryer to heat it up and kind of mold the Kydex just a a little bit less retention than what it is at currently. But like I said, I'm gonna keep working with this, seeing if it loosens up over time. But overall, it holds the mag really tightly and doesn't get in the way of anything. This is going to come with two Malice clips that are gonna clip directly to the attachment points that are already on the TRX Arms Orion. Moving forward, we have a dual pistol mag holder from STAC as well. It's going to be another Kiwi setup. These were a little bit tight at first as well, but as I started practicing draws from them at the house and at the range, they got just perfect. I have absolutely no issues with these at all. These are going to utilize a dual malice clip system and same deal as the STAC Kiwi. It's going to drop right on your T-Rex Arms Orion with absolutely no issues whatsoever. Moving on to the actual Orion itself. This belt is extremely rigid and high quality. All of the stitching and also what you have here on the back by Coyote Tactical is this really nice kind of like sticky 
rubberized material that's impressively good when you get it on your waistband. It does not want to move at all. Now, originally, I had somewhat of an issue with sizing. This was more so user error on trying to figure out exactly how to set all of this stuff up because it looks really simple when it's all laid out here already together. But once you get the belt with nothing on it, it can be quite a bit more difficult to figure out where you wanna put things and also how to loop everything through to get it to function the way that you want it to. The very first step that I had to go through was getting the actual Orion outer belt and the inner belt that is also available on their website. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that whatever size Orion you get, you get the matching size of the inner belt as well. Now, I kind of underestimated just how rigid this inner belt was going to be. Now, it's not as rigid as some other belts that are out there on the market, but where it starts mattering is when you're weaving through all of these little individual sections here that the belt has to go through. The sections are extremely strong and that's awesome, but it's also a double-edged sword because weaving everything through can take a little bit of time. But I will say, once you get everything on, you are good to go. I ended up ordering a large. I'm definitely not a big guy. My waist is about a 34 in my pant size. So I figured since I'm gonna be wearing this on the outside of my regular belt and anything else that I'm gonna be wearing outside of my pants, I would wanna go with the large. This was definitely on the bigger side for me, but at the same time, I feel like a medium would have almost been too small to go over the outside. So same deal, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I personally feel like if you are a 34 inch plus waist size, you definitely want to go with the large. If you are below that, obviously go with the medium, but look at their sizing chart on their website. I ended up having a lot of leftover slack in the inner belt, so I ended up having to cut and burn the belt itself, which was no issue at all. Just some scissors handled it in two seconds and it fit just fine. You'll notice though that the actual Cobra buckle that the inner belt has is actually lined up right on the Orion itself. What you're gonna get here in the way that I have it set up, and this is just what I found to work for me. I have the inner belt beginning to go through the Orion mounting system two spaces in. So it is not all the way through. I start it two spaces in. And the reason for that is because on the other side of the Cobra buckle here, you'll notice that it's all the way on the first one. But when I clip them into place, the Orion itself, the outer belt actually overlaps. I found that this was the only way for me to get it perfectly tight so that it wasn't awkwardly falling down on one side where the gun was or where loaded mags were. And that it also wasn't too tight so where I could not get it on at all. And I would much rather have this larger belt set up where I can't afford to just pull it a little bit tighter and not have any issues versus having a medium where I cannot get it loose enough and it just won't fit. The Orion is also gonna feature these really nice clips up here on the left and right hand side. I utilize these for my gloves. You can utilize them for whatever else you can clip into here. It's a really rigid, strong setup, and I had absolutely no issues with these at the range. Obviously, you're not gonna wanna put something crazy, crazy heavy in there because they're not really designed for that, but they are going to be able to withstand quite a bit. As far as for comfort of running around with this belt for the short amount of time that I had it at the range, I had absolutely no issues. And surprisingly, it was a lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. Now, unfortunately, since I just got this MFAC tonight, I wasn't able to bring it with me and try this whole setup at the range, but everything else was on there and fully loaded, ready to go, and I didn't have any issues. A side note about the dump pouch is that I do have installed your little nylon cordage here to wrap it around your leg. Originally, I had thought that this would be uncomfortable with the Ragnarok strap as well, but I was pleasantly surprised that when I got this strapped up and ready to go at the range, one, my stuff that was in this dump pouch did not rattle around, and two, it was actually really comfortable. I didn't notice that this strap was around my leg at all. It's a little bit skinnier, and I tightened it down so that it wasn't overly tight, and I had absolutely no issues. I really do like the fact as well that this dump pouch rolls up nicely, 
So that way, if you don't need it or don't want to use it for that range day, it's not flying around all over the place. And you can also wrap up the cordage in there too. So that is not getting in the way either, which is extremely nice. Now, ultimately, the way that I have this belt set up, I tried it in a couple of different configurations. I tried it with my belt. I tried it with my 511 pants. I tried it with some regular jeans. And then I also tried it with like some sweatpants and other options that you wouldn't obviously generally be wearing to the range. What I found to be the most comfortable is with whatever pants that you're wearing, but not with the standard belt that you'd wear for your concealed carry setup or something else. I found that I just could not get everything angled properly and it wanted to beef everything out kind of away from my body more than I wanted it to. When I did not have a belt on inside of this actually holding my pants up, I found that not only did I not need one because this belt was holding everything up anyways just by kind of suctioning everything to my body, but it also was a lot more comfortable because I could really cinch it down and get it tight to my body to where I wasn't reaching overly out anywhere because it was so beefed out. Ultimately, the price point on the Orion itself is somewhere around the $50 to $80 area, and the inner belt is about the same thing. I think I paid around $110 shipped for the outer and inner belt. Now, the nice thing about this is it's gonna be capable to accept a lot of different mounting styles. I think this is an awesome setup. And to be quite honest with you, I could not be more pleased. I am not paid or sponsored or anything from T-Rex Arms. I paid full retail for all of this stuff. And what I was looking for is really more so just something that I can bring with me to the range or for that SHTF situation and not have any issues. And I think this is definitely the belt to go with. There there are some other great ones on the market, but I would definitely have to rank this up there with one of the best for sure. I think it is more than worth the money that you're gonna be paying for it. And the nice thing too is that T-Rex Arms offers a lot of this stuff ready to go on their website. You can get things like this dump pouch for very affordable prices. I got the STAC 556 and pistol mag holder also on T-Rex Arms. The only thing that I could not buy there was the high speed gear taco pouch and also the medical pouch. They do have medical gear on their website. It was just a little bit more limited and that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up guys. If you have any other questions about what I have on this belt or the belt itself or anything else on my channel, feel free to comment down below and you guys know I absolutely will get Get back to you. Stay tuned because I am going to be doing a full review on each little individual piece of this belt and I will put a list down below of everything that I have in case you guys missed it earlier in the video. While you're down there, check out that description. The first link will show you how you can support what I do here on the Firearm Freedom channel. In that description, you also find links to the Firearm Freedom Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account. We do daily posts on all three of those, and on the Instagram account, we actually do twice a week live streams, so you guys are not gonna wanna miss out. If you enjoy the content that's coming out here on my YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more great videos to come soon.